anybody a fan of Shinsia? Do y'all listen to her music or am I on an island by um, myself? If you're like one of my regular viewers, obviously I love Nicki Minaj. I've, of course, I love other artists and Shinsia is one of them because I'm also of Caribbean descent. And, you know, I've been following her career since at least 2019, 2020. And um, you know, I have so much to say about her. So one day I'll probably make like a longer video, but I just had this random thought to get off these thoughts about her latest single waistline. Um, and cause it's like, I feel like it's, I don't know. I feel like I like the song. It had so much potential. Like she was teasing this song for so long and I couldn't wait for it. And then like it came and I think this song still has potential. Actually, I don't know if it does, but I like the chorus. I like the hook, but it's like some part of it, like it loses me on the second half of the verses. And I think it's more because of the melody than because of uh, anything else and the lyrics and stuff like that. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to say that. And um, I saw she went live the other day, so I recorded it, and she was like how, well, she was, was saying before she released the song that, you know, she really feels so strongly about the song. It's one of her favorite songs, but she said last over the weekend that her label won't let her shoot a video for the song unless the streams go up, and I am dying to see the streams for this song, for real, for real, because... It hasn't even touched her top 10 on Spotify, which is a bit crazy. It's now been out for going on about two weeks now with about a month of promotion. And she is working towards an album. And this is definitely going to be one of the singles for the album. And I'm not going too hard on her because out of what she has released this year, like I actually really like what she released this year. I was on her heavy, like on her ass last year because I was like, you're doing too much trying to go pop or trying to go hip hop. And it's just too much too soon. But, um, you know, she calmed down this year and got back to her dance hall roots, which is what a lot of people love her for. But I, and I don't mind her switching it up and trying to go pop and be a bit more mainstream but I just it has to be done correctly and this song right here my bad amazing amazing pop song on repeat go listen to it if you haven't but um there's something about this waistline song and I'm so tired of her working with <laughs> I'm so tired of her working with London on the track because I'm like bruh like can you please go work with some other producers it's kind of like she trying to break him into dance hall and um she trying to break into the mainstream sound and it's just like I don't know I just want to hear something else I, or I just don't want to hear him because it's like so much that comes with him outside of music so it's just like can we please do something else but um I wish her the best of luck as always and I'm, I'm always going to be here to listen and to support because I think she's a great artist with amazing potential might I add amazing potential but just like kind of like Chloe Bailey right like both talented amazing artists with a lot of potential but they're just not going about reaching their full potential in the right way and what is the right way um I don't know sometimes I'm not a professional but yeah uh, I guess I just wanted to say that so if you listen to this thank you like the video and let me know your thoughts if you listen to Shenzia and um you have thoughts on her career especially if you are Jamaican and have um Caribbean descent and you've been following her since before she even came to the states and started her mainstream career so I would love to hear anybody else's thoughts because I just be talking to the wall for real for real or just talking to myself so let me know anyway thanks for watching this Sub subscribe if you haven't <laughs> later and like the video please